in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix your system if you start to reboot your system or to shut down your system and it shows an error message that it's not responding now it's not currently showing it at this time because if it was that means I was in the process of trying to reboot the computer or turn it off but I did capture a screen capture when it occurred and then I looked for a solution and found the solution and put it on my web page as I normally do now here's the, the name of the title that I put, How to Fix the AT SPI Registry D Desktop Not Responding. And there's the error message. And if you have a hard time seeing that on the desktop, on the screen capture, I screen captured just the error message that popped up on the screen. It said a program is still running. So when you try to reboot your system or to turn your system off, as you can see, that particular file or application is not responding. You know, used to when I was in Windows, uh, when a system became non-responsive, I hit Control Alt Delete and went to my Task Manager and chose to end task. Now here I can reboot anyway, or if I was shutting it down, say shut down anyway. I can lock the screen and cancel. There's not really an end task. And Xkill, if I were to execute Xkill and put on the the dialog box, it's really ending this dialog box that's trying to tell me that the program's not responding. So a way that you can fix this, and before I explain how to fix it, let's first take a look at what this file is. The ATSPI Registry D Desktop, that uh, goes along with your assistive technology service. So if you don't really need any of the assistive technology services that's installed with Ubuntu Mate, you can disable it from starting up when you reboot your system or, or turn your system on for the first time after it's been turned off. Now the way you can do that, and I show step-by-step -step illustrations, you go into the control center, click on to the startup applications in your personal group or personal section. When the startup application preferences dialog box appears, here you see the AP or the AT SPI D bus bus. As you can see, it's checked to start this program when your system is booting up. If you do not need that service, uncheck it and hit close. And then after you uncheck it and hit close, reboot your system, and that way it won't be running in the background. And uh, if you're still experiencing the trouble, then you can copy and paste this command, put in your terminal, put the uh, sudo password in so that it can rename move this file into that name so you're not actually deleting it if you ever need it you can go back and restore this old file into that name and you would have it back on your system and running and the same thing needs to fly, uh, be applied to the SAT SPI bus launcher that's the launcher file you're going to rename it so that way it can't accidentally get checked and reload again and let me show you how to do all of this I'm going to start back from the top we're going to go in our control center, we're going to click our startup application, then we're going to locate the ATSPID bus bus, and that sounds kind of funny. So go into system, control center. When it loads, we're going to scroll down to the personal group or personal section. Here's the startup applications. I click it, and here's the culprit that's causing the problem, the ATSPID bus bus. I'll uncheck it, I'll hit close, and then I should be able to reboot the system, and it shouldn't hurt or pop up anymore but I have done some research online and, and saw where some people did that and then the problem still occurred and the solution was to, to rename the file to old both of the files that I showed you earlier now you do need to still go and uncheck that because that's going to try if that's still checked it's going to try to load this file that we've renamed and that might bring up an error message on your screen so first go through here and uncheck that file so that it won't try to load at startup or during boot up then copy this command here put it into your terminal open up your terminal Paste this into your terminal. When you press the enter return key, it's going to prompt you for your password. Enter your password. And then after you do, it's going to immediately rename that a, a file. It's going to move that name to this name. So you've named that file here to registry.old, which is, has the name implied in front of it. Now we're going to rename this one too. So we're going to come in here and copy this, put it into your terminal. And I cleared the terminal here so you can focus just on the command and not what's above it but it's the same thing I'm not going to clear it press old or enter or return and it's already renamed that file as well so now's where you can exit your terminal I'll clear the terminal out I don't have to but that's what I did to put the next command then I exit the terminal and when you reboot your system 
that file is no longer there to load up, which is causing the problem. If you look, that's the file, the ATSPI registry D.desktop. And if you look down here, what we did was the ATSPI bus launcher, which launches the file, and then the uh, ATSPI2 registry D, and that registry D, if you look up here, the ATSPI registry D, that's what's causing your problem. By unchecking it to start up, and by renaming those files, it should no longer be causing you the trouble. If it is, you can scroll up to the top of my webpage. And if you're looking at this on YouTube, I'll provide the link to my webpage uh, below the video. And if you still have the trouble, message me on YouTube or if you found this on my website. Uh, or if you click to go to the website, instead of going back to YouTube and putting a comment, you can click my email address and email me uh, straight and I will reply back to you. I like for you to put the comments below the video so that way if you have a trouble, people can see how we work together to figure it out. So if they have the same type of problem, they can see your uh, solution, what fixtures as well. So uh, here's the link to my main page and you can browse through here and I have other solutions to to Ubuntu Mate and I just recently today made an update on my webpage because it's been looking the same for so long. Hopefully if you've experienced that same trouble that I had and, and this is not a common problem with all my machines. This is the oldest desktop or I'm sorry this is the oldest laptop that is experiencing the problem. My newer laptop and my desktop system doesn't have that problem. So it's not just a Ubuntu Mate uh, 18.04.2 long-term support problem. It's a problem that that version that updates has with this particular model, the, the hardware that's in it. Now, I could be eating my words uh, the next time I update those other two systems. The problem may occur. If it does, I can come to my website, copy and paste those uh, commands that I had there after I remove it from starting up, and the problem should be gone. Hopefully this has helped you, and have a great day.